Nigga, Dion in the studio with T-Pain. Whoa, what the hell? Dion. What kind of mood you in, Dion? Hey, <laughs> when I called Dion to just invite him in, he's like, yeah, what's up? I was like, what's up? I thought was like, who sexy doing? voice is that that you just called? Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I called me in the mood. You can't just call me on the on the fly like this, you know? You know hey, hey, Dion's trying to come through with uh, personality, so he's harder to draw. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Let it die. Never. Let it die. I think somebody was you for Halloween. People are just going to be purple, Dion. They're just going to use purple now. <laughs> my, my kid drew me. My kid drew me the other day. And I said, <laughs> oh, that's special. That's a good one. That's said, special. This has to stop. That's special, you man. Should, you, should get, you should frame all of them in a collage. <laughs> that was so funny, man. <laughs> Yo, I legit be forgetting what we talk about. So, like, when I'm on the treadmill in the morning, I will sometimes rewatch the show. <laughs> and that shit had me in tears. <laughs> I was done. I was showing people, like, look at this, man. <laughs> hey, the, the silver lining is we're going to make Dion an upstanding citizen because he could never commit a crime now. <laughs> like, people on the scene could be like, no, 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 I got it. <laughs> it was this guy. <laughs> no, 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 I got it. Everybody draw the same picture. They'd be like, oh, well, it obviously has this be this guy. <laughs> Usually, this when, when this testimony be sketchy at best, but like everybody draws the same <laughs> picture. <laughs> <that> <laughs> It's like a flip book of him doing the whole crime. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, this has to stop. Hey, man, what about Mike Brown? What, what about uh, Von you Miller? Try make, you trying to change the subject? That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, it's man, Kanye crazy out here. Kanye is asking a fool. Let's talk about him. It's never going to work, D.I. You just got to let it slowly phase out. Everybody has one joke that lands better than the rest of them, and that shit sticks around for you. Nigga, people still it's talk horrible. about me eating a na napkin for, with the Jack in the Box Ranch, and that was five years ago? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> Did y'all see Diddy is uh, the Joker? That was a great That was incredible. Hey, man. I loved it. He even yeah. had the white man's neck. You know, it was white man's neck fun. then faded to the to the makeup. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was having too much fun. He got into it with that uh that that the actor from Power because the dude didn't know that he was Diddy evidently. Oh, he didn't <laughs> I know that. They had a little altercation. Yeah, he didn't know it was Diddy at first. Hey, Diddy didn't break Joker character though. <laughs> he did it, that laugh. <laughs> it was yeah. like it was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> where, where was this nigga? Where, because he kept seeing famous people. He, he was out in Tyler. LA. That was LA. Oh, yeah, yeah, he saw Tyler Creator. So I was like, what is this nigga doing? But the problem is, is he was he was the Heath Ledger Joker, but acting like the Nicholas Jack Nicholson character. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. I he, he, no, because like he... I because the Heath Ledger Joker was really calm and laughed when he did the punchline. The Nick the Jack Nicholson was really big, like. Ah! Doing all that stuff. I get what you're saying. Yeah, let me, let me was, draw this nigga right now. Bro. Come on, man. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but he was still trying to channel the Heath Ledger one. He was just trying to pull the biggest moments from the Heath Ledger one. Absolutely. Yeah. By far, that that Heath Ledger one was the best Joker ever. That, yeah. that will never be a better Joker than him, I think. Yeah. Uh, yes, I agree. But I do love that last Joker. The um the Joker Rocky movie, Phoenix? though. Yeah, oh, okay. Jared Leto. He was cool. Oh, for what it I don't. Was. I don't hate I Leto, don't but, I, but I do like Joaquin. You like you like Jared Leto. You like this. I said I did didn't it right mind here? Jared. I did. I didn't mind him. He didn't bother me. Like yeah, everyone hated him. I was like, he was. He was a modern Joker. It was he like was un, he was. He was forgettable. There was nothing memorable about Jared Leto as the. Yeah, it wasn't about him. He, he was like a D character. Yeah, he never he never got to do anything. <laughs> I it just didn't like Joaquin Phoenix being like this failed comedian. Like I was just like, <laughs> really? We gotta go there. He gotta. I be don't a know, bro. Great. Great well, everybody else has been like a Joker. Like they're just naturally like. Hey, he jokey. was trash though. 
But he was like, I am a comic. Like, I am a comedian. Lulu, you know them niggas, though. I, I ain't gonna hold you. If I bomb, I kind of feel like that. I'll shoot everybody in this bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not funny, huh? <laughs> I think it's it real for me. Because I, like you said, BT, I know a lot of dudes like that. So I was like, this ain't funny, man. Yeah. This is life. This is last yeah. week at the last factory. Right, you be at the last <laughs> last <laughs> week. <laughs> that it's always the nigga in the back and be watching you on the live. Like, Why this nigga on the show and I ain't on the show? <laughs> who, yeah. who you who, who this book you for this? How you get this? <laughs> man, he was wild yeah. in that one though. I was, I, that was a movie, it was a man. good movie, but I, it didn't have replay value to me. I didn't go back and watch it again. Kinda, it was kind of sad. It was very the depressing one with Heath Ledger. No, um, not the Heath Ledger, but the uh, uh, Phoenix. Yeah, I only Phoenix. saw that once, and I was like, "Yeah, it's a, but that's a lot of movie to take in, though. Like yeah. psychologically, it was like, Eesh. yeah. But know, we you did it. Though. You couldn't the watch Heath Ledger it. one. I watch over and all over the time. And over and all over. the that's why I'm saying he's the best Joker. I watched that in Batman for Heath Ledger. I don't yeah. watch for Batman. It was over. Fuck less about Batman. I like a better movie overall too. Yeah, I mean, had Batman in it. <laughs> it just had that. I mean, that's... I think all oh, movies man. when they well, all movies when they have like a a first one, second one. The second one's mostly about the the villain. The first one is usually about the origin of the character of the the protagonist, and the mm. second is always like let's talk about the villain more. Oh, did y'all like I, Detective I, Batman, the last one? Yes, Detective Batman. It was like yeah. the it was like the the one where halfway through you're like. Oh, this isn't a regular Batman movie. This is yeah. he, he's yeah. not really fighting like that. He's what movie yeah. is this? That's the, the Batman. Uh, the, the Batman. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, like Robert, Robert, Robert Peterson. Robert Patterson. Patterson. That was that was great. Because that's who Batman is. Batman. Yeah, Batman. you have to look at it differently because halfway through I was like, what the hell is going on? He's getting beaten right, right. up by, by regular yeah. goons and he's like yeah. making, pulling out a magnifying glass, and somebody had to be like. No, he's like new. He's like year two Batman. It's a detective movie. And I was like, hmm. Uh, yeah. I, I, I knew he was like a <laughs> new Batman, run. but I didn't know he was like new on the job Batman. Yeah. No, he was he getting was hands horrible. by like regular thugs, like thug yeah. number three. Horrible. <laughs> he was a horrible detective, man. <laughs> Everything he guessed team. was wrong. <laughs> it was like really red and he had like the mask off and he had like, mm. the hair was in his eyes and he was like on the computer or something looking for something very intently. And I was like, I, the only thing he was getting right were the were the riddles. Everything else he got wrong in that movie. <laughs> like, now, <laughs> now speaking of villains, I hate I hated that Riddler. I was like, this Riddler. Oh, I liked him. I was actually yeah, the Riddler for Halloween. Him. So that Riddler? No, I was a cross between Jim Carrey's Riddler and the original Riddler. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because the, the Riddler, he was laughing too much. I'm like, Riddler, don't be laughing at his own. Why is he giggling? Riddler somewhere? just tells riddles. Riddles. He just tells, tells riddles. riddles. And he sits like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, Riddler the also. Is, version, he's just a little funnier. His outfit goofy as hell, though, low key. It in, is. The, in the original. I mean, that, that question mark jumpsuit green screen hey, hey, thing. Hey, hey. Yeah. Mine was swaggy. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was swaggy. <laughs> Did you have a question mark and have a cane on it? The cane has a question mark on it. I don't see nothing but thigh. Oh, God damn, it ain't gonna help. You yeah. look like uh, <laughs> too much. You look like you work in the phone. the blackjack table. <laughs> <laughs> Stop taking okay. pictures on your break and get back to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you got my bosses burning <laughs> cigarettes on <laughs> <in> your thigh. <laughs> my what are you doing? <laughs> I I'm working the mirage game. floors. <laughs> <laughs> he was Harley Quinn before Jokey turned her. <laughs> oh, I was I was telling riddles all night too. To today's first topic, and that's exactly what we're finna do. Shout out to Dion Lack for jumping in and BT Kingsley as well. Uh, we got Lulu Gonzalez from the OG Squad, Pat Clown. I'm to hear more. We're gonna jump into this first topic right after this. Now, word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There were plenty of times over the last year where I was just stuck in bad problems and bad situations and I did not know how to solve them. It could be extremely tough to train your brain to stay in problem solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. That's where BetterHelp comes in. After these past few years, I had to do something. I had to try something to get my mental back on track. 
BetterHelp was at and it was everything I expected and more. Therapy helped me slow down and process things a lot better. Also in a way to where I can benefit myself and benefit others. Being in therapy now, I definitely feel more like myself and way less stressed out over situations, way more confident in how to deal with things. There are different benefits to therapy, man. I'm talking about unloading your stress, emotional healing, helping with anxiety and depression. If you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists online at any moment in time you want to. So when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash squad today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash squad. First topic of the day, would you rather have an 18-hour delayed flight versus lost luggage? And I will say this. Here's the caveat. The delayed flight is in a fun city, whether it's New Orleans, Vegas, uh, Dubai, London, whatever it is, you got 18 hours in a fun city of your choosing versus lost luggage. What time do we land? Uh, you land at the top of the morning, so you got the whole day to oh, capitalize on it. I'm doing and that. And yeah. do you know it's gonna be 18 hours? So I'm like, we're wait, we're still waiting. You in the airport and it lasts up until 18 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, <laughs> why would you not know what kind of airline are you from? Because it's, well, it's the a, thing, though. A lot of times they like if it's delayed for, and we found this out the hallway. If it's del- delayed for inclement weather they will just they would just keep pushing it back you know every 15 20 30 minutes they'll keep looking for a window but if they get a window they will take off whether you're in the airport or not (laughs) they will leave that's what i'm saying you you gotta stay around you gotta stick around i would just say you know they they say it's a piece on a plane that they have to have there are no other planes in the in the area that has this piece so it has to be flown in in 18 hours as soon as it can get i've had both happen to me and i would rather have the delay i slept in the airport for 19 hours coming back because they it was american airlines they were like we're going to take an hour that it was a mechanical issue and an hour turned into two hours and it turned into three hours and they was like you know Uh, what we're delayed till tomorrow Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was like, "Fuck this! I'm asleep in the airport because, like, we're, like I don't want to miss the window. Yeah, and I'd yeah. be gone, and they'd be like, we out.' So, yep. that uh, happens, Joe. And wait, I have, a, got- I have a, I have a caveat. Hang on, hear me out. So, <laughs> what if the the delay, since the the other one is your your bag being lost? What if the delay is 18 hours in a fun city, but? At some point, somebody's gonna try to take one of your bags. <laughs> it's, it could be fun, like New Orleans or New York, but you know, at some point, that somebody's gonna try to <laughs> rob you for I'm just one of your bags. Yeah. They're watching huh? you the whole time. No, you could you could prevent it if some. That's why they tell you ahead of time. You got you got to tussle though. You have to, you, <laughs> but you just know it's coming, so you can't really enjoy. But wait, wait, wait! Why would you have your bag? On. I'm cool. Because if you, if you, if it's if it's a delayed flight, you don't you don't get your bags back. They they still have your yeah. It's on like, plane. It could be just like a like your a like carry-ons. what you're carrying, or just like just like a robbery period. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I got my carry on. It's a book bag. I'm cool. I'm a run. I can I can run you. Don't so, worry. But, but 18 hours, you can't really relax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh and, Pat, and you can't. What's the name? The the city that you're in, because it's so fun. There's no hotel rooms, so it's like, mm-hmm. so you gotta yeah. you gotta rough it and figure it out. Yeah, but it's top of the morning. Good. Yeah, you're good. I you would be fine. A, it's not fun. Lay away. Lay it's over. not fun when you have to carry your bags everywhere. You have like a big ass suitcase. You, I know it's a carry on, but if it's a big ass suitcase, and you got your laptop bag, right. you got your purse. You know, you don't know I'm how to do it correctly. How many of y'all go to how many of y'all aside of like aside from like out of the country have fun cities or cities you consider fun where you don't have people there? Couldn't you just call your people and be like, yo, that, come swoop hey, me that, up so I can leave my bag in your car? Yes. Yeah. That's why I'm why you shaking your head, Pat. You don't know people in cities. 
Pat know people. Pat, what if you else? sent out one tweet and be like, hey, man, I'm out here. That's Hell. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Listen, National Geographic will pull up to get Pat from the airport. They'd be like, we love your videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love your videos. <laughs> you check out this marsupial. Let's go to Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Just do normal shit. <laughs> no, I, want, I, I, I definitely can make a lot of excuses for fun in one city. If I get to pick the city, it's like, I haven't been here in a while. Let me kick it with said person. Like, I can make sense out of that. And I got a good excuse to not kick it with them too long because I got to, you know, I got to get back to the airport. So I got to get the fuck out of here. So I could be on full fuck shit. I like that. You know what's worse is what if you was only going for a weekend? <laughs> so what if you was like, I'm going to Chicago for, for a weekend. I'm fly, give me, give me this red eye. You get to like, you know, Detroit because that's the layover spot. And you're like, fuck, why am I? <laughs> Why am I here for 18 hours? I'm about to go back to LA now. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the caveat. The, the the layover city has the exact opposite weather of where you were going. Mm. So you were going to Hawaii, so you have nothing but shorts, but you landed in <laughs> <laughs> you landed in uh British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> I'm yeah. staying in the airport. I ain't going nowhere. What airline is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta no, I, listen, if I'm flying no Delta, I ain't got no worries. I could either yeah. go out to the city, hang with my people, do some shit, or I could just crash in the in the, in the lounge. The lounge Man. got everything I need: Wi-Fi, food, drinks. They got little offices you can rent out. They got showers. They got everything I need. In the, you can in the sleep stop. there, huh? You can sleep there. Yeah, they got they got like like they couches got, and chairs like, like that, but you can also there. take a shower. Why, why not, Pat? There's gonna be a security like, hey, wake your ass up. Sure, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to sleep with my bags around me. Like I would, I, I always like, you know, wrap them around me somewhere. That's the most secure place that you can sleep with your bags around that's you true. is in the Sky Lounge. Yeah. A Sky Club. Yeah. That's yeah, the, the best LA, place to do it. They got nice showers and uh, mm -hmm. it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Wait, I, I, I never noticed the showers. They got showers in there? They got yeah. showers. Some, some of them do. Not not all of them, but the, some of the major ones, they but do But you say the one that LAX does? The big one in LAX, they got mm -hmm. the showers. I was in there like, ooh, this is nice. I'll stay yeah. here. They got tacos and everything up in there. I, I love, yeah, I love those. airport tacos. That, <laughs> was a man there like the one in uh, uh, LAX, the new one too, like they have a, a patio. Yeah, on the bar, so you can go outside uh -huh. and you can see the planes taking off and landing while you eat your food and take your drinks and all that. Uh -huh. It's legit, bro. It'd be folks in there too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. The, I know when you talk about, they got two bars too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because they, they run across spots. from each other across that little bridge. I don't know what you. The only one I ever talked seen, I thought the one that we went to uh, when we were nah. traveling with with Bilu. It's it looked a, like a, a wedding in there. It was like, it was just super normal. It was like a little bar. Nah, there's another one, Pat. That one we went to ain't, ain't, ain't nothing like the new one they put up. Oh, that one closed too, I think. Yeah. I think they closed the, the other two because they were across from each other. Yes. Those two are closed. It's, 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 just a, it's one new big one. Like yeah. when you're making your way to the terminal now, it's a brand new big one. That, that shit. Joint yeah, I go up really? there to get to it. Oh, yeah. Yup. That joint fly. I was on there that, like, I was. And I took all the snacks. You can take all the snacks with you on the plane. Make your own coffee. You be you be a yep. barista. They put the, the apron on you. You get all that shit. <laughs> Wait, they gonna do what, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that whole like you can do it yourself. Market employ. Like yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> make it all like your bartenders. Own. Make my shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I I'll stay, in, the I'll stay in the airport Why are you so quiet, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, because, bro. no, yes, for sure. And I, I'm, I'm a whore when it comes to airlines. Whatever is cheapest, I'm going with that. So, Bruh. stop doing that. Don't me, nigga. Don't love me. You got so, airline so look, look, look. <laughs> When it comes to airlines. I fly with anybody. It's, it's I it is fast food. I tell I took this it is what it is. Whatever is around me, I find some eat. Oh, we going here. Like no, I would tell like, people I eat Taco Bell every day. I did I did that shit for years, bro, until I found out it ends up cheaper in the long run to just go with one person. You, you get better, you get better, you get better wow. discounts, you get better more points. Those points can I bought so many, well not bought, I've got so many flights for free mm -hmm. on just my points. Upgrades are better. Anytime Kev 
uh, his travel agent uh, books our flights. Like as soon as the email comes through that my flights have been booked, I get another email saying you've been bumped up to Comfort Plus or, 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 or first class because it's already he already gets Comfort. But yeah. immediately, mm. immediately, and it's because of the points that I've incurred over the time. So yeah, it's, it's better to go with one or two good ones. Wait, they I automatically go, I, I bump you up. They charge your free. points automatically. They don't ask you. No, no, it's free. It's free for the upgrade, depending on what level you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm diamond. So they will always automatically bump me up to first class if it's available. Yeah. Yeah. Like, now that I'm on the, uh, the flight is the flight is close enough, they'll automatically bump you up because they they have so many designated seats for upgrades when it comes to like first class and comfort, um, and for um, uh, what is it? But uh, what you know? No, when you you go home for the funeral, uh, bereavement, bereavement, bereavement. They only sell so many seats on each plane or each flight for bereavement flights. Uh, so like they'll give you a discounted rate for that ticket if it's available. So let's say this is this a big flight going to like the Midwest, <laughs> like the St. Louis or something like that. Um, that flight might have three bereavement tickets on it or four bereavement tickets on it. But by the time you call, if you're not one of the top four or the first four, then you won't you won't be able to get it. Hey yeah. man, your family is dying every week, man. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> going to Hawaii, going to Dubai. Yeah, they be dying out there, man. <laughs> you going to Miami? Are you going to Essence Fest? My, my my uncle died there too. <laughs> I, I be collecting like all my points to here. I be like, run me my points. Soon as hey, they book you know, my flight, I be like, what's crazy. the points? Lulu, when you do the uh, when you call them niggas to like organize some stuff, when you bring up that points number, they act different. They be like, "No, you got to pay. You got to pay the extra." You be like, "You should probably look at my rewards." <laughs> 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 they look at that number. They be like, "Okay, fine. You don't have to pay the fee." That's what I thought. I, I figured you see it my way. Listen, <laughs> yeah, gotta... those those points add up. I get, I get three free bags on Delta up to seventy pounds each. Yeah. So that's that that comes at that comes in handy with the merch, nigga, because you know that merch be clowning. I'm gonna see what that yeah. spear, oh, uh, that's spear, spear looking like right now. Let me see if I'm sure spear got that same sort of deal. Mm. They don't look it up real quick. Let me look it up. <clears throat> oh, oh, airline merch. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have I have a the spear that have first class. No. <laughs> they have <laughs> look up. Yeah. somebody I, I asked that online. Somebody said they just have shotgun. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, come on up here. You you can push the buttons with your boy. I'm the pilot. Uh, uh, I got all, I got American Airlines, JetBlue, Delta, and that's it. Those are only real three I fly. How is JetBlue? I haven't had Jet. I haven't flown it, and since it came out. They don't like have JetBlue. first class either. It's an economy class as well. Yeah, I like. Mm. Well, we're like when we're flying. When I'm on tour with Chris D'Elia, we like when we find quick states to state, we'll use JetBlue. Yeah. Besides that, he like Delta. So I'll be like, yeah. yes, Delta. Delta. Delta and United are the best. United just has so many different levels when it comes, oh, not levels, United. but like, fuck United. like seating areas. It's like, it's not just first class or business and then comfort. And it, it's like business plus, business diamond plus or double plus, and then comfort double plus. It's like, bro, it's too much. And they charge you for each one. It's never, it's, it's so see, bad. This, this seat belt is made out of copper. These seat belts is made out of iron. So if you get the plus, 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 you get two cup holders. <laughs> it sucks, bro. Oh and God. I hate America too. American, American don't give a shit about you on they flight. American they cancel the flight. The American ain't gonna cancel the flight, goddamn me, while you're boarding the flight. They're like, yo, yo, we changed our mind. <laughs> It'll be just a like, guy what? who grabs your chest and puts you there. Yeah, like, we changed our mind, my nigga. We actually, we did the train real quick. Like, That's why I had that 19 hour layover because of bro, fucking American, man. I fucking hate American. I love Jamaica mad happy, like, eh. And I was talking shit at the time because uh, Nick Carthan and Carmen, we had went to Jamaica. And they was flying spirit, and I was talking shit. And I was like, ah, I spirit. Oh, whatever. And then they got home 20 hours before me. Like, one boy. Spirit, gonna make it. spirit gonna make the flight. They gonna need a jump. You're gonna have to get another plane. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> played jumper cables, but they gonna make it. I was talking so good. much shit, and they was dumb home. They was like, when I that was still the airport, they was like, we home, let us know if you make it. <laughs> right. Do y'all understand how that. spoiled we are? We are we are mad because the flights are delayed. It's a matter of life and death. And we have sit like, like this, hey man, the weather is bad. We don't have no pilots, man. Fuck that, man. Yeah. I need to be in LA. But we still want to get where we want to go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you got damn right, Dion with spoiled. Because look that storm. Is. You can't say no shit like this. You say some shit like this when planes were first exi- uh created, nigga. We y'all got it down packed now. Yeah, I got no backup pilots. You want an Beard umbrella? Don't give you a want an umbrella Beard with don't. an airplane? Fear does not care about that goddamn weather delay. Okay, they're like thunderstorm, hurricane. <laughs> Man, we can get through that. We'll make it. <laughs> they got Denzel. Why did with you the... sound like this? <laughs> That's him flying the tornado. <laughs> they, they got Denzel drunk driving the plane. They don't give a shit. <laughs> a storm for spirit just means that they actually gonna wear their seatbelts, nigga. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> now, how hard is this? I want to become a pilot. I, I, they probably you, you, you just fill out the application for spirit. You ain't gotta yeah. uh, do no training or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You get on you YouTube. Got a you got a driver's license. Yeah. <laughs> you good, baby, with spirit. Yeah. Hold on. If if she got a license, that's bad. You got you yeah. cannot have a license when it comes to spirit. <laughs> they want you <laughs> raw. You ever? <laughs> nah, we'll teach you. We'll teach you. <laughs> you ever been in the South? Don't do all that flight school stuff. <laughs> Welcome to Spirit. Well, we'll teach you how to fly. <laughs> you Them think it's a simulation? It's a real ass flight. <laughs> you you think it's a simulation, but it's a real ass flight. You're like, wait a second. I have people behind me this entire time. <laughs> well, man, we glad you got it right, bro. <laughs> Course one, skydiving. Hey, 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 <laughs> Why gotta learn how to skydive? <laughs> Trust us. That's how we <laughs> land here at Spirit. Everybody's for themselves. Hey, hey, all the all the questions are like, how how reckless have you lived life? Like, have you ever driven home drunk? You're like, yes, perfect. <laughs> how fast can you fly? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it to a vote, man. Y'all staying on this 19th hour delay, or y'all rather lose your luggage and get to where you're going? The delay. Lay over. Lay. Yeah. Yeah, let me get that delay. In a fun city? I go to delay as well. Uh, look like it's unanimous for the delay. We're going to jump into this next topic right after this. I got two phones, one for the... Hmm. What if if you know you know if you know the song you know the song I ain't got to finish singing it. Listen, I I this so y'all can see is real, all right? I just called. This is my business phone. I just got with Mint Mobile. I right, said so it's calling Tata, bat phone right there. I always wanted a second line, but I didn't want to pay the extra money with Verizon. So I was like, I'm not. I'm just not gonna do it, even though I really needed a business phone. So when Mint Mobile hit me up, I was like, Hey, our line started at just fifteen dollars a month. I was like, Shut up. I was like, No, for real. And if you wanted to keep your number, you can keep your number. If you wanted to keep your device, you can keep your device. And we have all the same da- data plans that all of our competitors have. And I was like, there's no way the service is that good. But guys, let me tell you something. On or off the Wi-Fi, the data is fast. The calls are crisp. The te- text messages come through. There is no lagging at all with Mint Mobile. And I was like, well, it has to be something. I'm just, I'm just waiting for them to pull the rug out of what is the catch. There always is a catch. <clears throat> But there's no catch. The catch is they don't have physical locations, physical retail stores, so they're able to save money. And by saving that money, they get the pass on savings on to you. $15 a month? Bro, $15 a month. Who don't want to pay that for, for, for cellular service? I know I do, and that's why I got my bat phone, because I needed another line, and I didn't want to pay all of that extra money. And you still get all the same perks Okay, if you want to get a family a family plan, it comes with two lines. It starts with two lines. Okay, you still get unlimited talk and text. You get high speed data delivered on the nation's largest five G network. You're going to get all the same bells and whistles that you would get with these expensive companies, but you get to save the money. I love that. Okay, so if you love that, you want to start saving some money. You want to get you a bat phone or a business line or whatever it may be. Get a family plan going. You want to keep your phone. You want to keep your phone number. This is what you do. Go to mintmobile.com slash squad. You're going to get everything delivered to your door. Okay, plan starting at just $15 a month. $15 a month. I spend more on lunch 
than $15 a month. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is a godsend. Don't block your blessing, okay? Go to mintmobile.com slash squad today and start paying $15 a month for premium cellular service. Next topic is, would you rather be a police officer versus a teacher? And not Ooh. just any teacher, middle school. Oh, Ooh. okay. Well, they I figuring it out. Teacher. They figuring it out. And that shit was horrible. I almost like choked up a kid, like for real, for how to quit. Cause right. I almost yoked up a kid in class and um Damn. Yeah. Only one of these choices can hit kids. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you either choosing a job where everyone hates you or you choosing a job where you hate everyone. Every like that one. is those wow. are the options with this one. Mm. Can you I get fired? I mean, I, I would choose a cop and just, just be slow on everything arriving. They'd be like, where's where is Dion at? I was like, what? Is a shootout on this in the back? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I came as soon as I heard. Nigga, we saw your GPS. <laughs> we got your, we got your, your, your dad's cam hiding in the alley. Oh, no. I don't know what it is, but like even when I see younger cops, like people our age or even younger, like in their twenties, I still be seeing cops. And I still be like, <laughs> this is the life, this is the life like, you chose. So, and I, I know everybody's not like that, but I just be looking at them like you, you, you just do whatever them white folks tell you. You yeah. just be pulling black people over for no reason and beating old like, ladies. I'm trying they to change the culture. I'm trying I, to change the culture. I'm, I'm the one that's gonna be. He lied his ass off. See, that's that's why I did a series called Hood Cops, because I did like how I would be if I was a cop, and if I was a cop, I'd just be like hanging out with the homies and like letting people run away, do crimes, and, getting like, getting fired, getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my opinion. Opinion. I can't arrest the homies. Like if you're just doing a little steal. I can't get, get your steel on, man. That's like, why I couldn't be a cop. I, I'd be feeling bad for the criminals and shit. And I'd just be yeah, letting yeah. people get away and shit. Yeah, I'd be like, Put I'm going to pay Sonic down, no, man. I'm arresting niggas that steal. If nah, you just do drugs, them. I'll let you rob. If you steal it, it depends on who you steal it from. You yeah. steal it from me? Oh, yeah, what's the situation? Yeah, are you still, if you steal it from people, like if you're an Amazon package still nigga, you're going to fucking jail. Oh yeah, right. put them under that. I hate those motherfuckers, bro. They they put them next to the murderers. You, you're going to fucking shit like this, put them under. I'm talking like about, I, put I them. Like somebody stealing some Amazon packages, like that's a, that's a win. Have y'all like, seen the Glitter Bomb? The g Glitter Bomb? Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. On YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Pat, have you seen this guy? Oh, bro, he a makes is. Glitter Bombs? He makes boxes. And basically, like he'll he'll use like a a, a air home, like the the uh the, the Apple Air speaker. He'll he'll make a box and he put that on top, or that's the outside cover. But inside of the box, he has four phones, so he can see every direction, and then it just uploads to the cloud. But there's an explosion of glitter as soon as you take it off. There's this fist that comes up, so you can't put the lid back on the box. <laughs> And then a siren goes off, and then a fart gas comes out, and then it's another round of glitter. Nigga, yes. it's amazing. For all the people that you are trying to steal packages. Uh -uh. Oh my God. Bro, the, the glitter comes up in this little ball and goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He be trying to get all the people that be stealing packages, Pat. So all those people that be stealing packages off your front porch. And he'd be like, this mother... Yeah, that's and, then, and then the fart gas comes out after... It's a delay. You get yeah, the yeah. box is done. And then the yes. fart gas come out. It's a countdown <laughs> for it, too. He does a countdown for the gas. That's I true. wish it was Man. something that stained or shit. Like, like he can't do nothing, obviously, that would kill him, like, acid or no shit. Like, the glitter is just, like, a, a, a Damn, major acid. inconvenience. But I'd be like, nah, get the ass with some <laughs> glow-in-the-dark paint that thieves are only known for. Like, feel like that. <laughs> do they get it? Do they get it off? They can't get it off, right? You can no probably... glitter bombs is glitter anything is a problem. Right. Let me tell you something. Three o'clock in the morning, I thought it was a good idea to me to sneak some some fruity pebbles and I spilled the entire bowl of fruity pebbles. All right. <laughs> On my carpet. Why were you there's there's no hey man, I say I tried to sneak too man, let big me live, to be nigga. sneaking why, fruity why pebbles. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Yo, yo, stop. Man, stay in the subject, all right? Who is I who dropped... is checking you in the house like, hey, D.L., you eat too much Fruity Pebbles. I'm tired because of you. Because I shouldn't be eating Fruity Pebbles at 3 a.m. I woke Listen. up 
So you woke up <laughs> and out I of your sleep hungry? Fruity Pebbles milk and Fruity Pebbles on my carpet. There's no easy way to clean that. But wait, so you woke up out of your sleep like, mm, I want some Fruity Pebbles. Is that it was and a joke. Like, like, hey. Just for clarity, Dion, pause. Because <laughs> you, you woke up desiring Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> I need some ah, motherfucking ah, pebbles. pebbles. <laughs> That's how I talk. That's how I talk. That's what we do. You were asleep. You was like, oh, bitch, I want some pebbles. <laughs> Wait. Why did I say, oh, bitch? But listen, you don't want a regular no. size roll either. Because if it's a certain time, you're not going to get a regular size. It was a big ass cake bowl. <laughs> One trip. I'm not doubling up. I'm not doubling up. With the big up. spoon? <laughs> the wooden <laughs> spoon? <laughs> hey, that's Dion's new album, Midnight Pebbles. <laughs> Midnight Pebbles? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be working on Why right are they trying to speak with the high knees? <laughs> midnight Ooh, Pebbles. Oh, bitch, I want some pebbles. <laughs> it's Ooh, a Midnight bitch. Pebbles. <laughs> Uh, that's 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 why that's why this room all purple. This is the pebble room. <laughs> it is below hey, this baby. camera right now. Yeah. All the Couldn't footy pebbles have been on pebbles. the light, and he forgot to clean it. It's like fucking like, so keep it away. Dale, Dale, baby, Dale, baby, this girl in the back next to Dion, she's featured on the album right next to you. <laughs> Angel baby, yeah, Angel baby, she's definitely on the album. Hey, Dion makes it with uh, chocolate milk. <laughs> That's the appeal. It's like midnight pebble. You pour midnight. chocolate milk into hey, the pebbles. Hey, at high key? You've done that before? pebbles with chocolate milk? You've done that before? <laughs> yes, Wait, you you think about doing it. That shit is fire. Wait, you That's already sugar. done it, BT? You've done it before? Are you thinking about doing it? Yes. I don't know what that gets me the question. Chocolate yes, milk, cocoa it? pebbles, bro. I don't okay. think it's gonna hit. Nah. <laughs> no way. I don't even like milk. Chocolate milk ain't even real milk. You know how chocolate almond milk. The sugary, how sugary the milk gets after fruity yeah. pebbles. Yeah. I could not with fruity that. with cocoa pebbles. With cocoa oh, pebbles. No. Chocolate milk with cocoa pebbles. That's still no, gonna be hella sweet. You're yeah. drinking diabetes. It's cereal, nigga. You're ruining the man. You're the BT, man. Fuck. I'm no. High meat. When you have it too, you gotta tip. I'm sorry, T. I gotta go, man. BT fucked us up, man. <laughs> Are you, you going to go get more fruity hey, pebbles? Hey, low key, gonna go get some. Low key, chocolate milk with cocoa yeah, pebbles go sounds good. Pebbles, bitch. <laughs> it's midnight somewhere. <laughs> 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 I'm getting my I'm getting my midnight pebbles now, now. Every time it's like three in the morning, I'm gonna think about Dion. It's about that time. <laughs> you know, Dion's in the kitchen singing so anxious to the fruity pebbles. It's 10 <laughs> Where are you been? <laughs> To get my message. message. <laughs> Look at this nigga face. <laughs> hey, I just I could just imagine turning on the lights and seeing. And seeing <laughs> hey, to hear I didn't sign up devil. for this. To hear I didn't sign up for this. I, I can't wait to hear. Tip -toe. Was I just want to see the tiptoe. Yeah, right. this, this is a joke that we didn't even create. You gave this to us. <laughs> You can internet. We need pictures. We need you to draw a picture of Dion with the Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> I just want to see his face looking at the box of Fruity Pebbles like, oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, him, he, Why after, are we have worried about face, the, like the premise? The point of this oh, is the light I turned dropped off. it. The light just turned on. Y'all worried about the premise. Like, <laughs> the punchline is I dropped it. Y'all keep focusing on all the premise. His book got to be up, too. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Forget that he dropped it. Just be let him get caught. <laughs> I like him getting caught more. <laughs> I like him getting caught more. <laughs> and it involves more people. Oh, <laughs> 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 Somebody get this. 
Hey, Dion's gonna, gonna mess around and get a cereal bread. Arms folded, that's funny. <laughs> get a cereal bread. He's gonna get a cereal bread. Dion, <laughs> lean into it. Get some bumper stickers that say, ooh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the slogan can be caught lacking, and it's him caught. <laughs> Come on, man. Midnight Pebbles, caught lacking. I, I, I wish we could flat, reach out to Zoom and say, I'm getting bullied, man. Pat, don't when, care. The, Pat, when the album come on and it tag and go, serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> I see the commercial already. Ooh, let's go to the next topic. Me some milk. Let's go to the next topic. Oh, bitch. <laughs> hey, what's the next topic? Ooh, bitch. Mom, why don't, don't I have any more pebbles? She looks at Dio. <laughs> you found out Dion got arrested for breaking the people's houses doing this? It's not just this. <laughs> His house are <laughs> even better. <laughs> and, I, and I get the uh, the glitter bomb on me and, and the Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> we don't even know what the rest of his story was. <laughs> no, tell us, tell us the rest of the story, Dion. I said it. He dropped it. Whole, what happened? The whole point of this. Nah, man, was, fuck all that. Pebbles, nigga. <laughs> I come up crying. I come up crying. He dropped it. He, so, he dropped the cereal. Let me finish the story, BG. With a school, <laughs> this is my therapy. Beyond. And then when he when he dropped it, somebody upstairs heard him and they were like, who's that downstairs? He was like, <laughs> <laughs> who's in my house? Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh. What was the question? Uh, um, be a cereal. Teacher. Oh, shit. Oh. Give me the teacher. I can make it, I could try to make a difference. I mean, they both probably make the same amount of money. Damn. Right. God, cops but try when? to make more. And life is more in danger. Cops make more. Yeah, I don't like eight do, hours. You have to do less schooling as a cop. You do less schooling and training as a cop than you do as a barber. Yeah, but the hours of being a police officer, I don't want the it's night crazy. shift. I don't want the weird weekend hours. At least with the teacher, you off on the weekends. I'm done at like five o'clock. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mom, I don't like them kids, though. Yeah, like, you're yeah. responsible for a lot of people's lives, man. You people get like you that. if you're a teacher, you get the summers off, you get weekends off, but you but the bread though, the bread is trash. Yeah. The, the bread is, is trash. I mean, at least if, if I'm a cop, I can steal drug dealer money. You know That's what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to be the popo ho. Somebody could bribe me. Like you, you could bribe. Steal. I'm bribable. Can you, and, and and I never heard of a cop getting fired for not doing nothing though. As in, like, you didn't show up. Like, you they can call show you. up and just not do no work. Right? No, I'm just, as in, like, like yeah. they say, hey, Dion, go to 445 Cannon Road. He was like, I didn't hear you, boss. I didn't hear the call. <laughs> and, <laughs> I didn't hear the dispatch. You can get in trouble on, on the job, like, like, like Dion said, not showing up or showing up late or not stopping enough people, you're not getting your quota. Then they put you on desk duty. Now all you got to do is just stay inside anyway. You ain't even got to go outside. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, coffee break, See, and, and break. I'm, I'm gonna tell you where T here messed it up. When you said it was middle school, like if it was college professor, mm -hmm. then I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Then I can, you know what, I mean? what world are you a college professor? <laughs> the wizard does not give a PhDs. What the With hell? Them damn scarves. <laughs> no, no, you got scarves. I don't mean school. you're a professor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant a college. <laughs> I hate this thing. So, this thing is say, I hate that you got mad like nigga. <laughs> college, <laughs> what what college. You? <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah, <me. laughs> this would be uh, Candyland University. <laughs> I'm Mr. Kingsley, and this is Chocolates 101. <laughs> Basically, you eat it. <laughs> no, nah, you got age, you guys. Two oh five intense ramen. <laughs> <laughs> you got noodle soups, all right? We got noodle soups. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. What's it called to hear? What's it called to hear? Madacharian? What do you call it to hear? Uh, what I don't. Madacharian. I don't know what BP be saying, bro. Third song, baby. Madacharian. Madacharian. Manchuria, no. Canada. We got the pink, we got the blue, we got the red. What's the flavor, sir? What's the flavor? We on shrimps. The shrimp flavor is the pink one. Fair <laughs> y'all. Break out your textbooks to shrimp. <laughs> break, break out your textbooks to shrimp. I'm teaching one-on-one -on -one brisket studies. If you guys want, <laughs> that's the here's the part, man. He's the coach. Hey, yeah, don't bring me this shit. Don't bring me this <laughs> one on one <laughs> short rib lesson. No, no, no to one thing you get in broken the university. Time. Don't bring me in this shit. That's that nigga. The right here teaches brisket. Barbecue teaches fruity pebbles. No barbecue in the day. I'm sorry. Scarves and noodle soups. <laughs> Hey, bro, oh, I'm bro, I ain't talking about that shit. You know how I feel Pat, about that. Pat Pat that would be your class. Listen. <laughs> Pat teaches marsupials. <laughs> that nigga minor than cheese plates. <laughs> <laughs> His dissertation was on charcuterie boards. <laughs> hey, my, my thesis is on meats. <laughs> meats you can add, meats you shouldn't. <laughs> 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 Minor in cheese, bro. <laughs> All right, let's put it to a vote, man. What we doing? Damn, professor. <sighs> this guy. I'm going to be a I'm going to be a teacher. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be a hated cop. Yeah, I'm going to be a cop. I've been a teacher, and that shit sucks. Yeah, you yeah, kind of look like a cop. I can't do middle school, bro. I'm I, the police. I thought I'd be a good undercover. Like a mean cop. I would be a mean. I'd be like a mean, cool cop. Be like, oh, there go Officer Gonzalez. They're like, all right, niggas, break this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my Rough stick? Is that my? <laughs> what am I? Not a, a, a London cop? Like, ah, uh, see? <laughs> you have a chain. <laughs> I came over here to check out the peas and the food, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, peas <laughs> and the food, the peas and the food, bro. I never got to sell them, bro. With that top, man. Yeah, yeah, oh, right, man. man. Uh, we're gonna like like that this one. Kid. We're gonna jump right into this last topic oh, right after this. The nights are getting longer, but the breeze isn't the only thing that's getting stiff. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, look, we all know that confidence can take you far in life. That's especially true in the bedroom, especially when it's time to step up to that plate and knock it down. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the U.S. and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package arrives, <laughs> your package has arrived. So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, chew it and do it. Have better sex. We've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code SQUAD at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code SQUAD to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Next topic of the day we have, <laughs> would you rather produce a movie versus produce an album. Now, with this, you have unlimited budget. You can get the script finalized, you can get the actors you want, you can make it happen. Or would you rather produce a fire-ass album, work with all the artists you want, work with the producers and the engineers and the DJs that you want, 
Which one are you doing? Wait, wait, is it, is it, am I in it? You can be in it, but you, you won't be like the star, but you could be in it. Both of these are going to be classics, right? You hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what you like. Would you, you basically, you bet on <laughs> would I produce a better movie or would I produce a better album? And uh, what uh, resources do you have? Unlimited funds, nigga, you're Bruce Wayne. For both? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, movie then. I don't know, bro. I, I think I'm doing that album, boy. I think I'm doing that I album. I think I might be on that album. Now, How I'm much money? Movie because I'm going to get more time. Like, if I put Denzel, Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert Downey Jr., uh, all of them in one movie, I'm going to drag this production out. That shit still can flop. Same and with music, you, though. And you can have a soundtrack with music on it. <laughs> if, if, if you, you make won't the be in of that, though, that's all, the thing. If you a lot of these, that's a lot part of these of artists don't even be producing. in the same place. So you could ask Jay-Z for 16. He's not going to be there. He could send that email and send you the bars. They don't even be in the same studio no more. And that's I'm not going to get no quality time with none of these artists. Y'all just going to send me the drop? No, nah, I'm gonna do the movie. We're gonna hang out. I'm gonna chill with Denzel, get some gems. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a supporting character role. So I don't gotta be the lead. <clears throat> I get to be there every day. Man, I'm going with that movie. I'm sure. Okay, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you again. Am, am I just an <laughs> overseer or am I involved? Because you that are like, um, what's, what's Buddy name that uh, made those uh, compilations? Like DJ Khaled? Nah, what's the one that did, um, I guess like Khaled or like Calvin Harris, like that. Ugh. That's the thing with music. I feel like you can't just really throw money at it. I feel like the, the all the albums that I consider classic are cohesive, made by like one artist and one producer or like a couple features. I feel like throwing money at it and getting all the best people together, you could still get some weak shit. Whereas a movie budget, like, having a lot of money does mean a lot obviously you're still gonna need to put the 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 art into it but i feel like like lulu said you can have an all-star cast you can have the best writers and stuff like that and i feel like putting all that together to me is easier to make a classic than just throwing like like all the best artists together but um pat think about <clears throat> think about your the artists that you like the most right and then being able to collab them with a producer you feel like that they should be with, but they just ain't with. You'd be like, man, if I was able to put these two people in a room, I know I would get something. Right, but you could also be proven wrong and you can't do anything about it. They could make the song <laughs> and all you could do is be like, all right, do I offend them and say, make another song and they might yes. not do it? Or, oh, oh, so now it's just like, Make a song until I like it, and then it's exactly what I. <laughs> yes. And then it's exactly what I dreamed of. <laughs> I'm full Dre. That's what Dre do. But that's if what I got I'm some people budgets, might. Y'all gonna try it again. But that's, but that's the thing. A lot of times the artists don't even show up in the same room. Y'all don't got the same yeah. vibe. They might have said, "Hey man, I'm in Hawaii, and I'm gonna email you this fucking bars." Bye. Unlimited fun. Unlimited budget, though. Yeah. That don't mean I'm nothing. paying you ten billion dollars. You, you gotta. You're be talking here. to people who got unlimited funds too. No, I got. I'm paying you. They don't care about your little ass project. Listen, listen, Lou, Lou, Lou. Let me take. Let me ask you this. So a producer calls you like, "Hey." Um, I'm working with such and such, such and such, got your information, such and such. I'm producing this album. I'm out in the Maldi <coughs> Maldives for the next month and a half. Come out here. I, I, I'll send a plane for you. I'll take care of your time while you're here. I just need this hot 16 from you in the next week. <coughs> what what artist is going to turn that down? They said, I'm going to give, I'm gonna give me, you a meal I'm, for the verse. I'm going to give you a meal for man. the verse. I'll, I'll, I'll come to Maldives for the week and then I'm gone. Why do I go for a month? <coughs> A lot. Listen, now, saying, the, the he, producer's going to be out there for the month. He's saying he's out there for a month. And he's saying, I'm going to just fly you out. I need the verse in a week. You can stay the whole week, even if you get the verse done in the first day. It don't matter. And I'm paying you a million for the verse. You, you, you think, think, I, you you think, think that, what, what rap nigga ain't going to take that? Yeah. Ain't about the rap, man. Versus me having an all-star cast 
what I, uh, people I've dreamed of acting with around and being in the same movie with that is going to be a classic and it has longevity. You hope it's going to be a classic. You hope it's going to be a classic. It will. You think I'm going to produce something that's not going to be a classic? <laughs> but also, you know, it's I'm not so about the money. It's, it's not about the money, man. You, you think that as long as they've been around, the two hottest women in, in the game right now, Beyonce and Rihanna, they ain't never had a song together. I'm sure somebody said, hey, I'm willing to pay for this. I need y'all to see have a song together. No, like, no, 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 no. That don't mean they, it's they, gonna be on, tight. They're on two different, they're on two different record labels. And the only thing that makes record labels move is money. So you gotta, you got he said unlimited access. Beyonce, I'm gonna pay your record label and you a billion dollars to do the song Rihanna. You could Beyonce still get an okay up. song. And it'll be trash. That's okay. It doesn't matter as long as I like it. No, it could be trash to you. That's the thing. You get less return. I feel like with the movie, y'all gotta do I it could, again. Get back in there. Yeah, I Stevie could, Wonder. If I have a movie, tell Beyonce, Rihanna, get back in there. Yes, it's Stevie the Wonder is waiting. This is the contract. Stevie Wonder's waiting. Stevie Wonder wrote the song. He's like and Beyonce, and Rihanna. And Timberland, and Timberland did the beat. Did they leave? <laughs> did they leave? <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> they just in there, back quiet. in there. Stevie's in there. He's asking about uh, you. Too I just soon, feel man. like if I have a movie and I have an unlimited budget, I can get Denzel to do exactly what you want him to do. You can get him to do the scenes exactly. And like Dion said, you can get artists to make a you fire not soundtrack. The director. You just the producer. Well, so? unlimited funds, right? So I can yeah, but you put it on the set. You 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 put it trying to get Denzel to do the line how you want him to, and you're not a director, and he's here's still the thing. Denzel. Denzel gonna do the line how I need him to do, not how I want him to do. He you're not the you're not the director. He you're gonna not give the, it to me. You're not the director. You it are don't the matter. Producer. He love what he do. Wait 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 wait. If that's the case, then you have to add that to the the music example, which means you can't. Uh, have any creative say on the Rihanna and Beyonce? Song. No, 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 a producer has creative say. A music are you? producer has creative say. Well, then Who we have you? creative say in both. Stay in the booth. We have to have what? creative say in both. Who a producer? If we're the executive producer of a movie, we damn sure have creative say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we. Yes, we what do. What you mean? The people who have who's paying for it? They can't be like this. Ain't good enough. Yeah, no, they can't. Yes, they can. <laughs> they, that only, happens all only the time. In, only in television and in and in Marvel movies do the producer get that much say. It's normally the director's vision, right? And but he still has to appease who's paying for it. Correct. So oh, that's, that's how you get. That's how you get the most girl. expensive album. <laughs> the people that paid for the movies let the nigga go on his vision. He came back and it was like, nope, scrap it. <laughs> Yeah, they could they could do that if they. I if think they what you guys like, are missing is my album's gonna have thirty songs on. That's gonna, gonna be trash. a quadruple problem. If you said all of them was trash in twenty twenty two, nobody listens to that. Everybody said Kendrick Lamar had a classic album. People listened to that for three weeks. So so <laughs> it's great. Uh, okay, but people but people. They don't stay with stick with albums that long no more. That's not true. That's wait, 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 wait. To be fair, Good Kid, Mad City is one of the longest running uh, hip hop albums yeah. on the chart. It's still on there. It's still it on the charts right now. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. And damn, but I Matt, think it's on there. Because this is what I'm thinking. But he if, don't he didn't have a I lot of features be, on that album, which is him. If I get to be involved in the album, nigga, I only need one of these songs to be great. I can tour that forever. You could eat off of this movie forever. If it works, can you? Yeah. How not? Why you don't not? think you, you don't think if I dropped Avatar, I would get more opportunities? <laughs> you yeah. think my phone would be ringing after Avatar? Maybe, or maybe people just called you because you had the big budget. I'm saying if the song is uh is uh <laughs> smile, bitch, <laughs> I get to, you get to tour that for the rest of your life. If yeah, else, but I mean, it doesn't have the same. I mean, if anything, you should be trying to flip it into another album, which is what I'm thinking about. This movie should be big enough where a I would franchise. Get movie. Yeah, yeah. Right. y'all thinking about y'all thinking y'all get one movie, one movie, and then you done, bro. No, oh, man. like you said, I would flip it into a franchise. I would try to make the Fast and Furious and be like, I, I could do whole, this. I, I could do this thirty more times. A big ass cliffhanger. Like, oh, this nigga still alive? 
for them. Like, oh, you want you want some more? It's like, and man, we, we want to. I know when the first time I saw Equalizer, I was like, oh, this is a one and done. Now they got Equalizer three. There's the Equalizer with Queen Latifah. You don't ever know Wait, how this shit going. Ah, you never there. know how it's going to go. Is there really one with Queen Latifah? That's yes. the show. Yes. It's, it's a, a TV show. show. Don't please don't look it up, Pat. You Wait, the equalizer was crazy. Denzel Washington, right? I know, yeah. but then they Don't made a up, female Pat. version and they put Queen Latifah as the equalizer on CBS. Anytime Pat do the next stretch, he's like, this is some bullshit. And then he go to look it. <laughs> yeah, she was running away from an explosion, Pat. I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, no, running don't, don't is, talk, a, is a stretch. Don't talk she about was, my girl Dana Owens, man. I believe. She was swiftly getting <laughs> away. Look at the first first episode on the bike scene. I told you. And there's an Equalizer 3 coming out with that. Yeah. I don't think she's in it. She's not in it. I hope not. But there's an Equalizer 3. Denzel's doing Equalizer 3. So that was a one movie that people thought was a one and done. And now should've they been. got a fucking franchise. It, sh it should have been a one and done. It should have. But the guess second what? One, here? The second one just almost ruined it for me. Well, there's gonna be a third one to fix that shit. Listen, if if I get to be the helm of a, if it's a Marvel movie, then okay, cool. But if it's just a random ass movie and I gotta come up with all this shit from scratch and I gotta be in this project, no, man, I, mm. I think I might take this album, bro. Well, shit, let's, I get, let's, let's I'm put it a, to a it's vote. It's gonna be man. a double what, what album. Doing? Let's I'm gonna to get to all my favorite artists that I would like to see together at some point in time into a room. My favorite producers is gonna be. Everybody Great. saying they're gonna be angry yeah. as fuck. I don't like they're that be mad nigga, at this BT. album. Let me know be what mad he mad that BT's forcing them to do these songs with these people that they don't want to be with. A billion dollars a verse. The so biggest flop album. The I have unlimited album. resources. You went from being a professor to now you just Bezos. He said, he said, I got unlimited resources. Unlimited resources on the film just mean a bunch of special effects. That and, that's and, not what that means. It does. I mean, a bunch right. of special what? effects and, 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 and a high-ass marketing budget and a PT, bunch of stars. These are artists, all right? Imagine if you was doing some stand-up comedy and then somebody was like, hey, man, I don't like that set. Get, back, get your ass back up there and do it again. <laughs> yeah, but listen, what, what make you think that actors ain't artists? The actors go act the same way. Right. They gonna be like, hey man, that, that money ain't that much, man. Hey, no. Bro, you, you like think how many times leader? you think you could tell Jack Nicholson to do another take before he'd be like, hey, bro, that last take. Hey, was he take. like Jay-Z though. One take wonder. It's good. We're gonna keep it pushing. He don't wanna waste the the the, the, should... the movie people money. He's like, let's go. One take. It's... I know my line. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know. <laughs> let's put it, let's put it to a vote. What y'all gonna do? I'm going album. I'm just coming out the gate. I'm saying mine first. I'm going album. Movie. Why don't you talking? You would say shit about album. <laughs> <laughs> I had already made up my mind. I want to I want to do some fire app. I want to have before I one before I let go or 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 one of those types of classes. Yeah, you only need because because to hear you only need to hit on one of these songs. Like mm -hmm. if the whole album trash, but you get three songs out of it that are amazing. Victory. <clears throat> but, but what so, if it's so, a cult classic and it's not appreciated until like 2050? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes, but I still will take it. If I know the album is good, I still will take that. Hmm. So, uh, so uh, obviously, if you, if you have unlimited funds and resources, it's not about the money for you. It's more of a passion project with, with both. Yes. Exactly. You know what kind of passion I can make with a billion dollars? I'm going to put Art Washington? Lennox and Sade in a booth together. It's going to be crazy. Sade ain't been in a booth in 20 years. She don't want to go there. She got a new album. She ain't I mean, she been offered a billion out. dollars of birth. She, I feel like I heard somebody so, say she got a new album coming out. Yes, she do. So okay. according to BT's logic, he said, all you need is one fire song. You have a classic album. So apparently Jackpot, Jackpot with Shingy is a classic. Uh, First of all, there's more than one song on there. <laughs> You're forgetting about Holiday Inn, but, I, but that was on that was on Powerball. <clears throat> Why you know these cheeky uh, verses like that? Why you pulled it up? <laughs> I pulled it up. Why you, he got? I he got embarrassed. <clears throat> yeah, the album don't have to be classic. I just music you can like transcends time. 
movies kind of date themselves after some point in time. Like coming to America is amazing, and but we saw what happened with part two. That's what happens when that part two come out. Your movie be too good. You got to wait for a long time for part two. Nah, that, that, they waited way too long. That's all. Don't man. stop believing it's still touring. I only need one. Terminator of them. Two is a classic, better than mm -hmm. the first. Okay? I know. We, we just saw Terminator Two. It's called Black Adam. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Don't oh even, don't boy. You do that to this nigga is all a best 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 That was the movie. That was not the movie. Let's let's you saw Black Adam. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. I ain't seen it. Put it to a vote. I ain't, I ain't, ain't seen that either. So let's just put it to a vote. Lou, what you, you didn't like with? it? Uh, movies, man. Me and Denzel are gonna be kicking it in the trailer, dropping gems. You just want to hang out. I do. Uh, What's the what point? That's the point of making movies. Hang out with your friends. Man, listen. Brand new Silk album. Silk. Feature Ari <laughs> Lennox. Silk the Shocker. No, no, nigga. Still no, the the yeah. I'm bringing the track masters back. Nah, oh, bring boy. back Silk the I'm Shocker. Have, I'm going to have, oh, day 26 with Timberland. Oh, day 26. Have... But only four of them going to show up. The other one, the other two are beefing. They not no, he's come back. Come. He's back in the they group. Not, they they, 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 they tour right last? now. I'm going to the tour on the 27th. <laughs> oh, where you going? I want to go. Come on, man. <laughs> BT gonna sell 30,000 units and he's gonna be sitting there like this. <laughs> this was a horrible mistake. This he's was gonna a be horrible sitting there mistake. like this, like I had I had unlimited resources. What what I'm gonna make, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm make Dre finish the project. <laughs> Dre, finish this album, bro. Uh, call your wife back Drake in here. ain't gonna promote oh, it. No, he <laughs> gonna promote it. No, not Drake, Dre. You gonna die. I'm gonna make I'm dropping the chronic, the next chronic album. I got, I got all the money. Give me that goddamn album right now. It's already done. Uh, got old ass references in it. Got give me that album. references and blue, my Blackberry beef, references. Y'all, y'all ain't ready for the corrupt Kendrick and uh and fucking J Cole. You ain't either. You ain't either. You don't even know who you want on the album. Oh, that's it's so fun. crazy. I got unlimited budget. Well, how about this? When it when it does well, and they ask for a hey, when you doing a follow up to that album, you gotta finance that shit. Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj, they gonna Cardi, be hitting you up like hey, Lotto match, on one song. It's match lit. that billion a verse. Timberland on the beat. Yeah, what to that billion a verse? Yeah, Pharrell, I'm bring, <laughs> It's gonna be brand new. You look at the back of my album. It's gonna have. Produced by Pharrell, and it's gonna say Little Wayne and Push It T. You gonna be like, oh shit! Yeah. How you gonna follow up? <laughs> gonna you gonna be like, you gonna be like, it's for the exposure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Punch the album, bro. <laughs> Mixed by Forty Six Six Six. No chemistry. Six Six Six. No chemistry at all. No. Nope. They just like they just. Hey man, I, I was paid to do this. Oh yeah, that, I'm here. I'm here so I don't get fined. The album gonna be called Tension. It's gonna be a like DJ Khaled album. Yep. Hey, you're gonna be sitting hey. there like this. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm gonna say I want 48 bars, hoes. <laughs> Give him an odd number. I want 33. Dion, what you going with? Uh, let's do um uh, movie. Movie. Pat. Movie with movie. the soundtrack. Holy. All right. Well, look like the movies have it on that one, man. Uh, I'm still, I'm sticking with the album. Me and BT for to make some fire shit happen. No, uh, well, I, fire. Hey, I do want to be in that movie so. though. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what if our soundtrack outsells y'all album? <laughs> 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 They're like, bro, this is a classic. <laughs> I'm gonna start a rumor. I'm gonna start a rumor <laughs> if that shit happens. Tim, <laughs> Beanie <laughs> <laughs> Man, Bobby <laughs> Ranks, and Wiz Kid. One song, produced by Timberland. Come oh on, baby. boy. Oh, and then you're gonna have to pay them to tour it. That's what's crazy. Uh. <laughs> Why is uh, Timberland producing everything? Everything. Yeah, yeah. Why is Timberland on every track? Anyway. Kurt Franklin, <laughs> Fred Hammond, produced by Timberland. What is this album about? Y'all for watching another episode <laughs> of Podcast Versus, man. Uh, shout out to our special guest, BT Kingsley. And Dion Lag, we want to thank Lulu Gonzalez, Pet Cloud, up to hear more. Thank y'all so much for watching another episode. We'll see you next week. 112. Podcast Versus, bye. Produced by Timberland. Produced by Timberland.